Hello gorgeous women, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, Prue Blenner has it here, leading intuitive business strategist and women's transformation catalyst. And I help women to really dig deep into their soul essence and uncover um, either what it is that they're here to do or the next level and the next layer of what it is that they're here to do. And uh, and package that in a way that provides their clients with the most incredible transformation and has them be truly divinely remunerated for their sacred work. So it's an honor and a blessing to do what I do and I'm really happy to be here and um, happy to to share inspiration and you know ideas and thoughts and whatever it is that can help us all up level and move forward together because we are all in this together truly we are so today I'm feeling really inspired to talk about perfectionism and it's hilarious because uh, this this topic came through earlier today and just in the last you know half an hour an hour and leading up to um, doing this Facebook live so many things have happened that had I you know been in a state of needing it to be perfect I might have you know cracked the cracked the shits and gone ah, I'm not doing it um, Facebook was playing up somebody came and visited just you know everything was happening I'm like oh this is very interesting very interesting so um, I want to talk about how perfectionism is killing your dreams so how we let this this fear of not being perfect hold us back so you know if we're specifically in in our, my instance um you know in our instance where we are here in ceo priestess activation it's all about bringing um our sacred work forward and really being in that beautiful juicy divine state of flow and really um having this beautiful balance between um the, the kind of feminine flow and the masculine structure, you know, if we're going mm. to, you know, be categorical, I guess, about those things, because of course we are this beautiful synergy um, in all ways and at all times. And so this, this perfectionism or this seeking perfection or this feeling like we have to get it all right is so debilitating. It's so debilitating and what I have personally found and something that I heard years ago and I took it on board because I'm like, that is a winning thing. That is a winning thing that I'm going to take on and I'm going to share with other people is that if you're a perfectionist, your 80% is everybody else's 150%. So go for 80% and just fucking do it. Do the thing. Try the thing. Do the thing. Hey, Adrian, beautiful. Always a pleasure to see you. Um, yeah, tell me, Adrian, has perfectionism stopped you? <laughs> I'd love to know. Um, I can't imagine that for anyone the answer is, is going to be no because it seems to be like one of those common threads that, that um, you know, stops a lot of us in our tracks. Um, so just reflecting on, you know, how perfectionism really debilitates us and what it does, what it costs us. Um, and one of the things is trust. So if you find yourself, um, and it's actually a clue, I think perfectionism is a clue that we are not in a full state of trust with ourselves. Um, we're not trusting ourselves. We're not trusting our gifts. We're not trusting our value, our inherent value, and we're not trusting the universe that we're going to be supported, that it's going to be okay. You know, there's this real lack of trust that comes through when we are um, allowing ourselves to sit in a state of perfectionism. The other thing that it really costs us is, so the first thing that costs us is trust like this real sense of divine trust in what we're doing and who we are in what's happening for us. Um, Adrian says, um, oh yeah, 
<laughs> totally, totally. Um, yeah, so the second thing that it costs us is the sense of play and open-mindedness and creativity. So when we're being perfectionists and like, it's got to be like this, it's got to be a certain way. It's very much, um, it's very much this sense of control, you know, like I know how it has to be and it has to be this way or it's not enough or it's not okay or I'm not going to show up or I'm not going to do my Facebook live or I'm not going to share my work with the people who really need it. Um, so it's really that sense of, um, closed mindedness and control and having to have the answers rather than just showing up and free flowing in whatever way and allowing things to just fall into place, allowing yourself, trusting yourself to know that whatever comes up, you can handle it. And whatever comes up, you have what it takes within you to be able to respond in a way that will truly honor you and the people that you're serving. Um, and creativity, obviously, because when we're in the free flow is when we get to be creative. It's when we get to think up new possibilities and new ideas. It's like, it's how we expand is being in this real space of open-mindedness and creativity and play. So recapping, perfectionism costs us trust. It costs us creativity and the final thing it costs us is productivity so actually taking action you know if we're in this perfectionist state we're like oh you know like we feel so constricted and we're like oh, I can't do it you know like it's like being in quicksand it's like I can't I can't do the thing I can't take the action because I'm so stuck in it having to be perfect or having to be enough and man that is an exhausting way to live and an exhausting way to do anything really including our businesses you know like whew, time to let that all go and I'm going to say it one more time if you're a perfectionist <laughs> your 80% is everyone else's 150% so go for 80% shoot for 80% it's going to be more enough I promise you I promise you uh, Adrian says yeah you witnessed me full on from a life <laughs> yeah and it was beautiful though you know like you're out there and you're doing it and you're making things happen you know it's it's so much better and we learn by doing we learn by taking action we become confident by taking action and by doing the thing rather than sitting back and going oh I'm not ready yet. <laughs> We're never going to feel ready. Ever. Never, ever, ever going to feel ready. So exactly, Adrian, just do the thing. Do the thing, whatever the thing is. So uh, if you want to do the thing, if you feel, if you're a woman, which you are, if you're in this group, because that's who's allowed in. It's a secret special little group just for women. <laughs> Only 50% of the population are allowed. No, that's not true. Um, well, it is kind of true, but yeah. I am also somewhat selective. Um, but basically, if you're, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, you know, like maybe it's time for me to bring my sacred work forward or maybe maybe there's another level that I can go to mm -hmm. that I haven't quite um, allowed myself to explore yet. If, you're, if there's a percentage of you that is thinking, maybe it's time for me, maybe I'm ready, maybe I have another layer to go to, then I really invite you to jump on a call with me. You can book in. Um, the website is ceopriestesschat.com. We'll have a beautiful heart to heart. There's absolutely no pushy sales and I will help you map out a strategy to get you like a lot of women that I work with already have businesses. They already have things going on. I mean, we all have some kind of setup. They might already, they might be working, you know, like for someone else. So there's always a place where we are 
and then there is the where we want to go and so what I do is really help you bridge create the bridge that takes you from where you are to where you want to be in a beautiful somewhat seamless way so it's not like you have to give up everything that's happening now and you and and go off into the never never it's not like that I promise it's very painless and it's a beautiful process so in any case I would love to jump on a call with you and help you map out a strategy and if at the end of that you want to hear more about how I work with clients I'm more than happy to share that and if you don't that is totally fine as well because I um, am happy to be of service as well so the website you can jump on is CEO Priestess Chat I'm sending you so much love do the thing. Don't let perfectionism stop you. You have everything inside of you to make the most profound difference in our world. Each woman does. Each human does. But at the moment, this is the time that women are up-leveling and we are bringing our sacredness to this world. And I was thinking about it earlier today and I'm like, what is it about women up-leveling that is so incredible? And for me, what it landed on is it's like the spirit of service and community being uplifted by the energy of unconditional love. So I feel that's what we women are bringing to humanity at this time. <sighs> so I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for being here and in the group. Thank you, Adrian, for joining me live. It's such a pleasure always to see your beautiful picture. Um, and yeah, I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Lots of love. I've got a special something coming up next week, which I'll announce later in the week. So keep an eye out for that. Bye. Ooh, how do I end this? Oh, baby. Here we go.